Here's an AMI This Week shortcut with Alex Smythe. We often dip our toe into the arena of sports here on ATW, but AMI-TV's new original series, Level Playing Field, takes a deep dive into the wide world of para-sport. Level Playing Field introduces its audience to athletes, community groups, healthcare professionals, and grassroots innovators who showcase the power of sport in their own unique way. All the members of the production of this series are so excited to finally be able to share it with audiences, especially the show's host and four-time Paralympian, Greg Westlake. Greg, thank you so much for chatting with me today. No, thanks for having me, Alex. I can't wait. Oh, well, it's our pleasure. There's so many great stories and great characters you meet in this show. Are there one or two that really stand out to you? Uh, th there were so many. Uh, I, mean, I, I met Rob Shaw out in BC and then, you know, two weeks later, he won the gold medal at the Para Pan Am Games. So that's a pretty cool high performance story. Uh, there was a young man named Anthony Liu who was actually in a, in a horrific accident. And you go meet this guy and, and smile on his face 24 seven. One of the most positive people I've ever been around training his butt off to try to make uh, the Paralympics and represent Canada on the international stage. He, he just, his energy shines through in that episode. And then we look at organizations such as Holland Blurview Kids Rehabilitation Center, where, you know, I have a very close connection to, and I really believe that they're world leading right now in the work they're doing in adaptive sport. And they're changing the lives of kids who have to stay there as inpatients and as outpatients, but they have all the equipment needed to try any adaptive sport. So just seeing the kids and their faces light up when they talk about getting out with their friends and being able to participate just like any other kid should be able to. And I really think when you watch the episodes, that energy just shines through. So I, I can't wait for people to see some of those stories and feel the way that I felt when I was sitting there talking to people. Well, that's fantastic. Now, this is the world that you're quite familiar with. You've been a member of the Team Canada Para ice hockey team for 17 years. What have been some of the changes that you've witnessed in the para sports world during that time? Yeah, it's a great question, you know, because there's so many things that have changed. The performance side has changed, and then just the amount of people watching and the eyes on it have changed as well. And now I get to be on this side and help promote other athletes in the sport. So it's actually a really exciting time right now. And I know that all the members of the Level Playing Field team were so excited when you signed on to be the host of the show. But what initially drew you to this project? Man, for me, it's the power of sport. Um, you know, without going into a 20 minute story here, you know, I, I grew up on two artificial legs and all I wanted to do was be a hockey player. And you kind of hit that age, for me, it was about 14, 15, where you realize, well, I'm probably not going to be the first guy in the NHL on two artificial legs. So then you start going, well, what else? Or like, what else is there for me? And I'm so thankful that my parents brought para ice hockey to my attention and I found it and I loved it and I went all in on it. And here we are, you know, in 17 years I've been on Team Canada. So I, I just, I, I see the profound impact it's had on me, the relationships I've made with teammates from all walks of life. And so now I get to, to find out more about other people and, and kind of how their lives have been impacted. So that's what we're going to be showing in the in this series. And I know as the host of the show, you've been able to temporarily trade in your sled for some other adaptive equipment and try some of the other pair of sports that have been featured. So can you tell me a bit about what that experience was like for you? Well, that's the fun part of the job, getting out there and getting in a, a wheelchair rugby chair, getting in a wheelchair tennis chair, trying all these different sports, a hand cycle where we went through these back roads through Toronto. That was a scary experience. You're buzzing pretty fast. Uh, at the end of the day with, with Parasports, the, the best thing you can do to have an appreciation for it is to try it. And, and, and I came away from every single sport that I tried during this series with a, with a great fan of respect for the amount of effort, time it, that it would have taken to get better in, the, in those disciplines. There's some probably a few things on the blooper reel from uh, me out there, but it was worthwhile and it was a lot of fun. Now it's worth watching it for that alone, but why do you, Greg, think people should tune into this show? Well, it, it's about the stories and I get asked this question quite a bit in, in, in the Paralympics and like I said earlier, just there's people from all backgrounds of life. And, and, and so just for me being a double leg amputee, I know what that life was like, but what's it like to be a blind athlete? What's it like to be an athlete in a wheelchair? What's it like to be somebody who's 65 years old blind and never played a sport before, but you want to get out there and reap the benefits of an active lifestyle? 
you know? So we're, we're peeling back the curtains of all these different sectors and we're gonna let people in to some of the bravest, most inspirational people that I've ever met. So uh, tune in, check it out. I'm so proud to be associated with it and I can't wait to share it with as many people as possible. Greg, thank you so much for chatting with me today. And I'm so excited to watch it and can't wait to see what you and the rest of the LPF team have to offer in the future. Awesome, man. Thank you so much. Level Playing Field airs Mondays at 8.30 p.m. on AMI-tv. And if you want to watch the previous episodes, be sure to check out AMI.ca or check out the AMI-tv app on iOS, which is free to download in the App Store.